30 seconds. Up on the grid. All right, six hours of Sebring. About to get going in 30 seconds. Qualified third by six hundredths of a second over Rickard. And uh, Emery and David Hart very fast up ahead to take the top two spots. We're going to have a uh, rolling start. So I'll oh, get going and slot in behind Emery. And Rickard will slot in behind me. And we're green. Alright, Hart and Emery getting a little bit of a gap. Kind of assumed that would be the case and my fight would be with Norgren. Norgren taking a look to the inside on this first lap. Norgren throwing it up the inside. Nicely done into T1. It's definitely breaking a little bit later than I am in a lot of the key corners. Norgren locking up, running wide at the hairpin. Can't take advantage of anything. He is locking up a lot, however. These tires struggle to make the two hour mark. If he locks up like that for two hours, it might come back to haunt him. I had a few massive slides just because there's no grip in the braking zones. So we have to look out to the tires. Uh, we have full fuel load. We don't know what kind of strategy the others are running. Um, so if they are fast, we can't reach them, that's fine, just let them go. Your, your uh, sector 1 and sector 2 times are even with Ricard. Uh, you're losing time on the last sector. Alright, Ricard keeping the gap at about 4 to 5 seconds. Fluctuates up and down, but he's uh, maintaining it up there. Hannon behind has actually close the gap now as I've made a few mistakes and he's slowly been able to close the gap down. This might be a battle for fourth with Hannon. Alright, down to three seconds to Norgan. 1.5 to Hannon. Stretch that gap out a little bit. It's fluctuating but nevertheless all of us within six seconds of each other. It's keeping it exciting for third, fourth, and fifth in prototype. Rickard staying in eyesight. Hannon right behind. This three way battle continues. We all trade being fastest. Two of us run the same pace, and the third one's a little faster, and then we'd alternate who that is every couple of laps. I've been the slowest for a few laps, too many now, and Hannon is taking a look. I'm going to go non-defensive into this and hope he doesn't throw it down the inside like Ricard did. And he's not going to defend. Oh, hit the wall. Don't think there's any damage. Rickard's pitting, Rickard's pitting.
cannon just spun behind last turn. All of a sudden, I look pretty good. How are the rear tires? Ah, well, that's not that good, but... Uh, so tires are 82, 80, 68, 71. All right, David Hart pitting as well. So we look like the last one of the top five prototypes to pit. It's been a very slow game of tire conservation. Lee Russell in the lead car now. See where they come out relative to uh, Lipscomb behind was Emery's teammate. As we continue trying to reach that two-hour mark of the six-hour race, these teams are all looking like they're uh, going to have to do a fourth, I'm sorry, do a third stop. We're trying to do it in two with the tire preservation. I didn't do so well. Hopefully John can do a little bit better, but if I can at least make that two-hour mark, It'll give John enough time to do a good stint, hopefully a little over two hours, and I'll make our last stint, where the track will hopefully be in its uh, best conditions in the night, with the rubbered in track, uh, as fast as possible, and we'll see what we can do. Right now, we're leading. Norgren pitting for the second time, second or third time. So the strategy is definitely going to start to play out. Uh, that is a car. Brian, Jules' teammate, our teammate in the GT class, on his side. They are leading GT. Hopefully, we can get that recovered. As I come up to lap the car, that was about 14 seconds behind me before they pitted. Hannon's teammate. Norgren in the pits. He'll go a lap down to me. So this is starting to look pretty interesting. Let's continue to lead on pit rotation. We have about 22 minutes or so left. And give me a fuel number whenever you can. 57. It is getting very slick. My left rear is in the red. Okay, your lap time is good. Just don't race anybody at this point. If uh, he closes on you, just let him go. Lee Russell right behind now. Again, I haven't stopped yet, so I'm just banking time, banking laps to be able to allow John's stint to run even deeper and hopefully get this two-stop strategy to work and give us the advantage in the long run, but it is getting really loose right now. Lee Russell's had to sit behind for a majority of this lap. This is great for me our strategy, but not great for theirs. Obviously, if they're going for an extra stint, they need to uh, make this move. I'm not going to defend. Just hug this outside lane, see if they go for the dive. And not going to be able to, so I'm going to retain. Defending a little bit. Oh, John told me not to, but this could be huge later on in the race. My stint's coming to a close anyway. If they are going to stop an extra time, this is huge in the race. Looks like he's going to have enough 
to go down the inside. I'm not going to defend. But he does not have enough. Still haven't stopped yet. Okay, you got to get ready. It's very loose. Okay. Oh, tap from behind. This is also the championship battle. David Hart and Lee Russell leading the championship. wide here. <clears throat> and Lee Russell is going to take the lead of this race. Hit the two hour mark. Four hours to go. Just hit the two hour mark. <sighs> okay. Good job. That was a very good stint, especially the last part. Pace was really good. Yeah, we stopped much later than everyone else, so I'm assuming everyone else is taking an extra stop. We could get at least second on this strategy. We'll see what happens to Russell and Hart. Yeah. They have pace. We're basically going to be relying on uh, their mistakes. So Lee Russell currently leads over 60 seconds, over 70 seconds ahead of second, which is Billy Lipscomb. Both of them are looking like they're doing a three-stop race. Um, we ended up third after the pit rotation. 30, less than 30 seconds behind second place. So we'll see how this ends up. And we are potentially it looks like we're gonna have one less stop than everybody else so we'll see how this does play out in the end um, it looks like fourth on down is at least a lot behind us so we do have some gaps all right so real quick looking at the championship standings as we're approaching the midway point of the six hour finale um, five points separate H shift and horizon motorsports for the prototype lead we are five points behind now the difference between first and second is five points so if we were to finish first and H shift were to finish second we would tie on points the typical tiebreaker is usually you know uh, whoever has the most amount of firsts if we if that situation happened we would actually both have two wins definitely been a close season obviously with the eight shift guys um, David Hart and Lee Russell finishing out this race for them and it's really all about the prototype class to finish this out 50 points to 45 and it's uh, 20 points for a win 15 for second 10 for third so we'll see there's plenty of situations that could play out in the second part of this race we'll see which ones do hey I'm seeing David Hart stuck in the pits several laps down now yeah I see that Okay, so you got about a lap and a half to second place, so no pressure. All right, so John has done a fantastic job. Um, it's outpaced a couple of other cars, legitimately took second on track a while ago. Now we're getting into the final 30 minutes of his stint. Um, David Hart and Lee Russell. Has... I don't know how uh, Lee and David got back into second place, though. Yeah, I think they were just credited their laps back. So I don't know, we'll... We'll just focus on what we have left to go and deal with that later. Um, yeah, David and Lee had some kind of issue in their pit stop, and they ended up uh, just not running for several laps. I mean, six or seven laps. So John was uh, leading clear uh, over a lap ahead of Hannon in third, or at the time second. Yeah, six or seven laps on the rival car for the championship. Then uh, at some point, Lee Russell drove out, and he was only 20 seconds behind John. So they were credited their laps back. They weren't running, so something must have happened, um, you know, technical reason on the server side or something why uh, 
they were able to resume and get back on the lead lap. Okay, my fuel is going to be 171. Okay. Ready, get it ready? Yep, I'm heading in. Okay, into the server with about an hour and 40 minutes to go. Sun has set. John leading Lee Russell about five, six seconds behind. Ride with John. Race. So, should be good to go. Oh, it looks like Lee Russell has crashed. Lee Russell has crashed. Okay, Russell's had an off behind. So our next um, car is Hannon in third, and he's over a lap and a half behind. Last lap was my best, best so far. I got 9.8 liters left. How did you calculate your fuel amount? I mean, what am I supposed to st stop, basically? Uh, with one lap of reserve. Oh, it's getting dark here. So, Hannon is officially classified as second place. 1.67 laps behind. Alright, we did just get a note that Lee Russell did rejoin the race. Uh, Lee rejoined the race. I don't know where they are at, though. Position was. He's on track as fourth. Almost three laps down, so... So the fuel is good? Yep. I had some reserve tacked onto that anyway, so we should be good. I remember just nice and easy pit lane entry. I also remember the lead lap at the end of the race. Got it for that? Yep. Wow, it was hard to see the red arrows. Okay, looks good. Um, so yeah, about a lap and a half to second. Um, Lee Russell, three and a half laps back. Alright, good luck. Traffic. All right, John's out of the car. I am in. Hour and a half to go. Track is in beautiful condition. It's very well rubbered in. Should be able to do some good laps and I have a short stint so I can use the tires if needed. So this is fantastic. We are looking good to take home the win in this race. Just need a mistake free final hour and a half. But with the track conditions like this, so much rubber laid down compared to when the race started. It should be kind of a cruise. All right, one hour remains in the six hours of Sebring. The one hour in the pitch black night. I'm having a good time. I'm just kind of taking it easy, looking after the tires. I've only worn the tires 8% in 30 minutes, and I did have some tail whipping going on. But nevertheless, looking very, very good. And at this rate, we will be... Historic Endurance Series Champions. Just uh, checking back, everything's okay? Yep, one hour to go. Doing good, just cruising. Okay, good job. Thanks. We'll check back again later. Ah, the back straight of Sebring looks like a deserted highway. Thirty minutes remain. In the six hours of Sebring. I've never actually won a six-hour race. Participated in many six-hour races, several twelve hours, a few twenty-four hours. Never won anything longer than three hours. That's going to change today by winning the six hours of Sebring. 
in this championship. What a day. Okay. Good job. Yes. Very nice. This is a uh, race and the championship. Wow. Good job. Man, what a race. <laughs> Winners of the six hour of Sebring. I have never won an endurance championship before. I've won formula, prototype, touring, even rally. But I have never won an endurance championship until now. Beautiful. And yes, my first six hour race win. Just awesome. Gonna park it in the box, and that is gonna be the close. Thanks everyone for participating in the series in today's race. I'll have the finals posted in the next few hours. Unbelievable. That is gonna be it. Official results then. One lap to Hannon, two laps to our teammate James Andrew. He was accompanied by Bill Sitter. Good job to them, bringing home a third place. So we're one and three. Awesome job. Our championship rivals coming home fourth after um, some issues with the driver swap and then a PC crash, not a driver error. So kudos to them for finishing it out, and uh, they finished in fourth.